Hello, in this tutorial we are going to learn about how to prepare abstract of quantities or detail of measurement form in Excel. So let's get started. First I'll just go here, I'll just merge some of the columns over here to give a heading, okay. So I'll just write here measurement form, okay. Next we need to just give here serial number, then description of item, then length, breadth, depth, and then quantity and remarks. Okay. So I'll just start from here as serial number, then description of item. Okay, like this. Let me just double click over here. Okay, to expand this. And then next to it, we need to just give here a length length and it will be in what meter okay so i'll just try it here now next day uh, instead of expanding this what i will do i'll just explain it in this direction like this okay and uh, i'll just wrap this one okay and i'll select this one wrap this one like this then we can just uh, make this uh, align this it in center okay and uh, this in vertical direction and this one as well in vertical direction okay so this is what length let me just expand it a little bit then we have what breadth breadth okay and it is also in meter okay and we can use the same option as a wrap text okay and uh, we have to just uh, align it in center and next to it we have height height okay and again in meter okay it could be in feet or in meter okay no problem in which unit you are working on okay so again wrap text okay and i'll align it in center now we have just serial number then description of item then we have a length breadth and the height then at last we have quantity okay quantity so quantity will be in meter cube or it could be in meter square uh, or it could be in meter okay so depend on the uh, item so uh, after doing this we have to just insert uh, the symbol over here for cube right now i'll go here in symbol after going into the insert then into the symbol and uh, this is the cube symbol insert it close this one and close the bracket okay so again we'll do the same now after doing this uh, we need to just go here and uh, we have to add in the last column as remarks okay so we are done with this let me just align it in center like this okay so this is a form serial number description of item length breadth height quantity and remarks okay after this i'll just select all of these up till here okay like this i'll right click over here i'll go into the format cell option and uh, then we need to just go here in border option okay and i'll just give here a outline so for outline i'll select this one this border okay and i'll just press okay this is the outline i'll press okay again and you can see the outline over here okay then again i'll select this one okay let me just select this one or uh, let me just first merge this one first okay why i'm doing this okay so again I'll just merge this as well. Let me just merge this one. Okay, like this. And uh, I'll simply select all of this, okay, from here. Right click, I'll go into the format cell option. And right now, I'll select this one, okay, as style. Then I'll go with inside option. I want border inside. I'll press okay from here. And you will notice a change over here, okay. So we have outside border as well as inside border, okay. And this is how we can create measurement form in Excel. Now, let's suppose if you want to just save it in PDF, you can just save it in PDF as well, okay? Or you can save it in Excel file as well. So let me just save it in PDF, okay? In this regard, I'll go here in file. Then I'll go with the save option. I can just directly save it in any of the location, okay? And let me just browse this one. And I want to just go here in what 
documents okay now you can directly go and save it into excel workbook okay in excel file or if you want to just save it in pdf you can just save it in pdf as well so let me just give it name as measurement farm okay and i want to just save it in pdf so i'll click over here save as type okay and i'll select this pdf option and i'll save it over here now let me just go into the destination and let me check okay so in this regard first i'll just go here in destination so here i am in documents and you can see over here i have just this file measurement form right click i'll just open it with any of the browser okay and you will notice the change over here okay so you can just uh, export uh, or you can just print this one okay and uh, this is how we can create measurement form in excel hope you understand this session we'll see you in the next